SBA Idol increase updates, news, reconsideration, and everything more. Hi, my name is Michael from Viral Funding Solutions, and I'm going to get right into this video. If you haven't been following my most recent content or have been tuning in anywhere on YouTube, blog posts, social media, etc., the funds for Idol loans have been depleted. Zero. And a bit of this is the increase you have up until the 6th of this week. It is Monday, the 2nd of May, 2022. And of course, approximately there was really zero, nothing left in the pot, but are still being processed up until May 6th. If you have not put in an increase and the portal will be shutting down by May 16th around that time time frame. Now, what should you do in case you didn't get an idle loan? Perhaps you did, you got an increase, or you were in the whole reconsideration process. All of that is still trying to be configured, processed, figured out. Perhaps you've already received news of that. And you're like, what should I do? How do I move forward from all of this? Now, I'm going to show you all the available SBA options as in what else you can go out there and get, and as well as other financing, small business loans, cash advance, building business credit, getting 0% for six to 18 months through business credit cards, and so much more. But that is the frontline news. I'm releasing this video. It is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. And if you're asking why I'm looking over here, I have a few bits of notes that I want to cover on that I wrote down. So now let me get into the share screen and show you what you can do instead. Now I have this quiz. It's the get the SBA funding your business needs fast quiz. And what it basically is, is in the less than about 30 seconds, you should be able to completely fill this out and it will determine whether you qualify for an other type of SBA funding. We're talking about SBA 7As, 504s, there's the ATA mentoring, which is aside from this, which is not a loan program, but you'll be able to know if, okay, there's this SBA 7A program I'm hearing about. What are the qualifications? How does it work? What will I need to supplement with documentation? That'll have that in here. So it'll be down below in the description and all other information on SBA, other types of funding programs, especially one that's just been more commonly produced as of lately for 1099 gig workers out there, independent contractors uh, and so forth. There'll be an option for you down below where you don't have to use a business checking account to get funding. You can use your personal checking account as well as no uh, minimum FICO credit score and even uh, that and more. So I'll leave that as well as other parts up to how to get up to 2 million, 5 million, 10 million and beyond. But this should be down below in the description. Um, and if not, there will be another piece of content because sometimes content does get updated over time. So this may not be there or it might just look in a different way to you. But this will be located down below as well as what I number one recommend you do is fill out this less than 30 second questionnaire form below. It's not an application. And what this basically will do is it'll give you a personalized and customized email response myself. This is what I do about every day. I have loads of people who fill this out on a daily basis. It's very safe and secure. So what happens is again, you'll fill it out. It'll land in my email inbox where then I will analyze, evaluate it and give you a proper response back on what your best funding option and options are. Numbers broken down, qualifications, how it works, bonus tips, bonus material. You might get approved for more than one option. Of course, I'll show you those, but then I'll, I'll also get into why I recommend you do this one instead. I'll even have a conclusion for you. And then I'll say, well, if you don't qualify for this one, there's this option, or you don't quite qualify for anything, but here are the options to take once you have the minimum you know, qualifications to do so, or what are the backend routes like building business credit, how to fix and increase your FICO credit score, uh, how to do all these things with like credit card stacking, perhaps you're trying to get the 0% interest for six to 18 months. And that's more of a credit line hybrid program. So I'll talk to you more about that and I'll try to leave more information on that down below in the description, but it's very simple. Here it is. It'll look like this more or less. And again, you can finish this in less than 30 seconds. If you have it all there, it's very safe and secure. And as your business loan broker slash agent, who's been helping out a lot of people from all types of industries, I know the common problems, especially because I've been in your position 
I've received funding myself, but it wasn't as easy. I have had to pick up my business from doing nothing in revenue to just trying to meet the minimum of doing 3,000, 5,000, and not even getting there and struggling for so long. And then finally getting there and keeping it, being consistent with cash flow is one part. And if you don't have collateral, this can work for you too. And there are collateralized loans, accounts receivables, real estates, other types of accounts receivables on paid invoices as one. Uh, you have uh, inventory and the equipment and so forth. So again, this will be down below in the description. I offer more than these services. I just let, put a limited amount of them there just to leave it like that. How it works, more or less what I went over. So something like this, you'll come across. And again, it'll be down below in the description. And this is from myself at Viral Funding Solutions. And I can connect you with the best lenders and the best underwriters, the best brokerages, the best uh, offer connected to you and show you how the application process works and what you would need to get started, what are some amounts, what could possibly be the rate slash interest rates, total paybacks, the terms for this, because they're not like the idle loans. Let's face it, I know you're looking for, let me get a 3.75% or something less than that. I don't want anything more above a 4%. Well, first of all, do you qualify for traditional physical banking? So they can get you in with somewhere about 2.5, 2%. Up, but a lot of it right now is about 4%. You have to understand what the market is doing. So today's market, 4% usually and above. If we're talking about private lending options outside of the government through with not being the uh, idle loan particularly, you're talking more about somewhere between seven to 100, even in some other products, it can be like 20 to 250%. I know it can be a lot, but it depends on the risk of your industry, depends on the risk of your profile what type of payment history you have, the FICO, the time in business, the revenue, and so much more that you can go and get. So it just depends on what you have. Everybody has a different criteria. But again, this information will be down below in the description for you to check out. And just so you have an idea of who I am, if you haven't come across me, I'm not promoting this out here just for uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you're trying to do this for cloud or you're trying to No, I want you to get familiar with who I am. If you don't know already, some people will say, well, the idle loans haven't expired and you're just, there's this amount left. Well, some people are not as informed as I am. And so you're just seeing maybe something that was an article from a week ago, two weeks ago, or perhaps you're not in the know enough, but I do, I know this from the loan officers. I know this from the SBA of what's happening, but you can get in touch with myself. Again, here is the site, Viral Funding Solutions and the services that I provide. There are a lot more, a bit about myself. I have a blog that you can get connected with up here. Uh, you can learn other ways to get a hold of me, but the fastest way to do so is to fill out that questionnaire. There will be also that SBA funding quiz that I showed you just earlier, but this will be the fastest way to me for me to get a hold of you if you have not filled this out yet, for me to give you your best funding option and options in a more customized setting, as well as you're going to get a Six step uh, free six step pre approval lending checklist to get your approval funding much faster. So you're not wasting days. We're not talking, we're talking about days, weeks, months, and even years of sifting through old, outdated, scammy type of information, just stuff that does not work, more theory, fluff based. I cut through all the clutter of that and I show you what's working today in the market in your industry, as well as what are the rates right now, prime rates, uh, our, our expectations of all that, and you know how to drop what we have up here and get level. And if you're already up here and you understand how all of this works, great. But for the most part, everybody's looking for an idle loan and not everybody will get one. Or you did, but you're just looking for something else. You don't want to use the type of equity, the type of property you give up for that type of funding. And you're thinking to yourself, it's not worth it. Let me just take this payment. It may be a little bit higher, more of a medium to higher rate without collateral. Because a lot of the prime rates these days, as of me making this video, is like about a 3.5%. And a lot of people are looking like, oh, well, I want, I'd be happy if I got 2 to 4%. And it's just, it's just not a reality to be living in. So 3.5 plus 2%, a lot of it can be accounts receivables. A lot of these unpaid invoices, 3.5 plus 2% right now. And then you have like the 3.5 or the prime rate at that about 2 to 8% on top of that. So it's about assessing the risk. So you can realistically get underneath 10%. It'll be more on the higher end, just below 10%. And some, some cases over 10%. It just depends on what you bring to the table. So don't be... And that's a bargain, by the way, of what you're getting there. And don't just sit back and wonder what if. And the most important thing you have to understand away from the idle loans is 
idle loans are primarily used for survival money, business expenses, payroll, just trying to keep your business afloat on the ground so you can continue to push yourself forward and continue to do that building phase and getting out of a tight pinch. And then there's also the part of it being used for growth and expansion, but not a primary use of funds. Now, when you're going to a private lender outside of the idle loans, it's not the SBA 7A or the 504, especially with the SBA 7A, you should be sufficiently providing evidence that this can also be used for growth and expansion. Don't think that because the idle loans, survival money, I'm also going to need the SBA 7A loan for survival money. It doesn't exactly correlate the same way. Sure, you can use that funding for payroll and expenses and so forth, but you should also be able to show as well as the profits, 10% plus, if not 15 to 20%, uh, significant use for growth and expansion as well, because they're not just going to give you these 25, 30 year, uh, a lot of the times five to 25 years, uh, five to 25 year terms, and they're just not going to give it to you if it's all completely used for paying off some huge amount of debt you have, and that can be used for it, but uh, you also have to provide some significant projections in your business, where you're going and so forth that they want to look at. Uh, but with private lending, non-collateralized loans, more of a medium to higher rate you'll be getting. And that's just okay because you also get access to faster funding. You just have to assess what your actual funds will be used for. Like I ask business owners this every single day, what would your funds be used for? Uh, I need to use it for 85% of this is going towards survival money. 15% will be going into the growth of getting more equipment and then getting more uh, people hired onto my business that will expand the business by an extra $5,000. Okay, 5,000 now, but you're using all this for survival money. You're already doing your cash flow is not in a position to help that with 5,000, you're gonna be paying back at least 8,000 to 9,000. It might not make the most sense for you as opposed to someone else who might be taking something of a payment of 6,000 to 7,000 a month, 4,000, 5,000, however much it is, depends on the service then they're making about 15 to 20,000 the next month or in two to three months shorter term or more of a longer term uh, ROI, depends on what frame. They're gonna be more like, okay, this makes sense. I'm gonna be making, you know, and they're not gonna be the ones budgeting for two 25 year terms. That's just, that's not how it works over here. And again, there are online banking solutions. If you qualify for the bank, that's what I would recommend you go and try first. If that's not what you get approved for, or you want an alternative, something on top of that, boom, we have other options over here. But just be more realistic, and I'll show you all of that, how and how it works. So that'll conclude everything for me in this video. Again, this wasn't for me to, uh, what's the word, present myself as like clout or like, hey, no, I'm trying to have you be aware that the idle loans has been depleted, and who knows when that'll be back, if it'll be ever, the portal closing, the increase up until May 6th. But that does not necessarily mean you will be getting the funding. And I wouldn't be sitting back on that, honestly. And I'd be looking at other alternative options, especially if you're in a position right now where you really need to use the funds, even if you don't really need to use them, but you would like to have them ready for the next two to three months, or you're not trying to wait on this idle loan that won't be in, et cetera, we have options for you and I will be taking care of you. There's more of a personal approach to all of this. So I don't look at it just from business. I don't even think about what I'm making from all of this. Honestly, I did, like have had underwriters reach out to me and go like, Michael, do you know how you've done this? I really don't know. I'm just out here helping as much as I can and perhaps I'll evaluate it towards the end of the month or something. But I'm more careful about helping you as an individual. I wanna get to know who you are to a certain degree, right? You might not be like, well, I don't know you. I don't wanna to get to know you. I get that. I can be the same way. I'm an introvert. Um, and so I'm very observative about things, cerebral. And so I only let people in so much, but you have to earn that trust from me. And I get it. I have to earn that trust from yourself. And hopefully I can, hopefully I have. And I'm very appreciative of all this and humbled and very grateful that I've been in a position uh, with having my own businesses, helping my own businesses get funding, as well as helping other businesses understand what their options are are what's the best thing to do moving forward all right so that'll conclude everything for me look for all the information down below uh we're working on as a time of me releasing this video on independent gig worker funding uh perhaps it'll be live later today as soon as tomorrow sometime soon here in this week um if not the best thing to do is fill out this form and i'll make you aware when it's ready 
and I'll keep you up to date with everything, idle, PPP, if anything, grants, all that information, startup funding will be down below. But the best thing to do is fill out this form and I will be able to assess and be very thorough about it. The reason I ask for something like a phone number is not to harass or heckle you. I will go ahead and usually what I do is I'll send you an email response back that's in depth and then I will follow it up with a text saying, hey, I sent you this email. Look out for the subject line from and then an email uh, and then from there on out. So that'll be everything for me. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future videos that will be coming out with. If you got value out of this, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel somebody else will get value out of it, perhaps as a complete stranger, friends and family, please share it with them. I would be very appreciative of this. I've helped out loads and loads of industries, loads of business owners, people of all types, of all backgrounds, get funding in all types of services, whether it's, hey, there's a fiscal bank, you can go and try that. There's an online banking here. Here's what's expected. Here are the private lenders. Here's stuff like PayPal. Here's this. Boom, there's back-end business credit building, source credit line hybrids, and all these different services. So that'll be everything for me. And any questions, comments, or concerns, if I haven't said this already, please voice them for me down below in the comment section. That'll be everything for me. Take care.